Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. So we are about to have dinner and a glass of wine. I hope that you guys stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys. Thank you so much. It means so much to me that you are able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today we are doing wine Wednesday. I don't know how these kind of metamorphosized into having dinner with wine, but I suppose that's better than you guys thinking I'm just sitting here drinking the whole bottle of wine that I'm at, I'm at least getting some substance in my stomach as well, right? So anyway, we made some soups this past weekend. So the one we are going to have tonight it's a new soup to me. I've never made anything like this before. It smells amazing. I cannot wait to get into it. It is a crock pot Mexican meatball soup. You buy like packaged meatballs already, right? So yeah, and there's rice in here and there's corn and there's black beans and there's diced tomatoes with the green chilies and there's onions in here and beef broth and it listed a couple of different spices like you know chili and cumin and pepper and oregano and things like that so i said you know what i'm just gonna make it even easier and i'm gonna buy a package of taco seasoning and put that in there and i think that's that's about it so you just kind of put it all together throw it in the crock pot for like i think it said four hours and then you throw some cooked rice in when it's done I know, simple, simple, simple. It smells amazing. So then it was, well, what wine are we going to have with it? So, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I tried a new winery in Three Lakes, Wisconsin. I had never been there before. Well, I still haven't been there before, but I had ordered a pumpkin wine from them. And I got a couple of other wines just so it didn't get lonely in the package. So I got this Zinfandel. And again, from Three Lakes Winery, Wisconsin. And it's in the Three Lakes area. And they say, I think this is like the second oldest winery in Wisconsin. I think they're famous probably for their cranberry wines because Wisconsin has a ton of cranberry bogs, just like Cape Cod. So they may do make fruit wines and then the, the normal wines that everybody's familiar with, like, a, you know, a Chardonnay, a Cabernet, Syrahs, the Zinfandels. But they do have a lot of mix, mixes with cranberry. So they do have quite a variety. So anyway, I poured some in my glass already, just kind of let it aerate a little bit. And it is a nice deep purple color. It is really coating my glass here. So it's just telling me that there is a stronger alcohol content in here. Let's kind of swish this around. Get those aromas, the fragrances to unleash mix with the air aerate it a little bit more it smells spicy like pepper i think i smell plum maybe blackberry hmm i think that's it so anyway cheers everyone happy happy wednesday hope everyone's week is flying by issue free that's the best part when your work week is issue free cheers everyone Mm. this is nice it's got some strong tannins in it so it instantly dries the top of your palate the inside of your mouth then as you go to swallow it it's velvety smooth it's got i think maybe there's even cherry in here some plum some blackberry it's a peppery like a hot spice that's in here also maybe a little bit of cinnamon so you've got all these flavors that just kind of come alive at the back of your mouth and your throat just before you swallow it. All those flavors just kind of zing, come to life. 
I'm just going to have another quick sip. It's got a nice, rich, full body, too. Mm. This is nice. This is going to go perfect with my Mexican soup. So I think I read on their site, um, other than it was 13% alcohol, they say that it goes great with barbecue foods, Indian or Mexican. I have Mexican soup. I know, how perfect is that? So again, this soup smells amazing. Really, really easy to make. And got it on my plate here. Got a little cornbread off to the side. I mean, this would be good too if I happen to have some tortilla strips or something to kind of crinkle them up on top or Fritos or anything like that. But there's black beans in here, some corn, rice, the diced tomatoes, and the green chilies, and then these little meatballs from just frozen meatballs. And like I said, it smells amazing. It was like just beef beef broth that I used in here. Um, probably like a whole, I think it was probably the whole 32 ounce container of beef broth and with some rice when it was done. It's going to have a quick little taste here. Mmm. That is good. And the taco seasonings. I mean, I could have bought all those spices or looked in my cabinet, but the pre-made taco spice was already good. Just cut one of the meatballs. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. It's like the meatballs just kind of took over the spiciness of the taco seasoning and the other things in here. Really, really easy to make. Again, tons of chopped onions in here. I think it said for half a cup, and I used a whole cup of chopped onions. I love onions. And this with my wine and the cornbread. And that's my dinner tonight. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes of your day to spend with me. Mm. I am really starting to enjoy these little wine Wednesdays and the wine diaries with a little bit of food. I do miss my appetizers, though. I think I'm going to have to do an appetizer one pretty soon because I do miss just having snacks at the end of the day. But anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending a few minutes of your day with me. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. And we will see you in the next video.